what we want to do today is we want to synchronize the carburetors uh, on a uh, dual carburetor uh, Rotax engine. Now this particular engine is a 532, but the 503, 618, and 582 and 447 with dual carburetors are all the same uh, basic principle. Now if you look at this air filter, this is the style of air filter that we recommend. The reason for it is that it does not have the chrome piece on the outside and it has safety tabs so that you can safety wire the air filter onto the carburetor. So let's remove the air filter. Okay, so what you have here is you have two cylinders, which are, think of the cylinders as being two horses. And each horse is pulling. And what you need to do is you need to have the horses pulling equally. Now, if one horse pulls faster than the other, you've got a problem. So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, have a starting point for adjusting the carburetors. So what we have to do is we have to, first of all, make sure that this slide hits the bottom of the carburetor and not just the adjustment screw. Okay, the first step in synchronizing the, the carburetors is that we have to make sure that the slide hits the bottom of the carburetor body. Now to do that, the first thing we have to check is we have to slacken off the cable so that there's a little bit of slack in the cable. Okay, once we've got the cable with a little bit of slack in it, then what we want to do is we want to bring the idle screw completely back so that it is not affecting the slide at all. As I'm coming back, or as I turn to the left here, the slide is coming down. As I turn right, the slide moves up. So if I want a lower idle, I turn it to the left. If I want more RPM, I turn it to the right. So what I need here is I need to have that slide hitting the bottom of the carburetor. So I want to turn it and turn it and turn it until it doesn't affect the slide anymore and I still have a little bit of slack on the top of the carburetor. What that tells me is that my slide is now hitting the bottom of the carburetor. Now with the slide hitting the bottom of the carburetor, I now bring my idle screw in until the slide just starts to move. Now normally what I'll do is I'll put my finger and press against it until I can just feel it start to move. Okay. Once I've got that, that's a base starting point. That means the, the cable is allowing it to come to the bottom and it's hitting the bottom of the carburetor. I now have to do that with the other side. So again, I'll come in, slacken my cable off. So I've got a little bit of slack in the cable. Come in, undo, or uh, turn my uh, idle screw out and then adjust the second carburetor. Now once I've got them both so they're on the bottom of the carburetor, now I have to set it so I have a starting point. So what I want to do is I want to come in two and a half turns. That means from where I am right now, I want to come half, one, half, two, two and a half. Now that's a starting point. I do the same thing with the other carburetors. So what I've got now is I have two carburetors that came all the way down to the bottom of their travel. And I adjusted them from the bottom of the travel up so that they're sitting at two and a half turns on my idle. Now again, if I turn the idle screw in, that's going to raise my RPM. If I turn it out, that's going to lower my RPM. So we've got a starting point now. So what we need to do now is we need to have both of these carburetor slides start up in the throat of the carburetor at the same time. So I'm going to apply power here. You can see that the slide, as I apply power, the slide on the right-hand side is starting up before the slide on the left. Now this slide is screwed in all of the way, so what I need to do is just adjust this slide a little bit out taking that slack up in the cable that I had. Just a little bit more. There you go. Both of them are synchronized.
So now what I have to do is I can move my little wrench, tighten the lock screws down, the lock nuts down, so that everything is where it's supposed to be. So now that we've got our cables uh, synchronized at an idle, now we have to check to make sure that they are working correctly throughout the full range. So what we have to do now is we come up to about half throttle, and you can visually check down through the uh, throat of the carburetor and see where the uh, where they're sitting. So what we're looking at now is the position of the slide in relation to the carburetor, and we can see at half throttle we're pretty well there. Now let's try full throttle, and what we want is we want to be able to see all the way through the carburetor. We do not want to see any of the slide in the carburetor at all. I've had instances where the slide has actually at full throttle has been sitting right there and you can see that that does not give you full throttle. Okay one last thing before you put the air filter on you want to make sure that your carburetors are level with each other. So you take something flat, in this case I'm just taking an Allen wrench, you just take it across and what you want is you want it to have so that both carburetors are flat across the top. You don't want to have one carburetor like that. You need to have them so that they're both basically with like that. Now once you've got the two carburetors synchronized so they're open together, you now have to set the idle up on the engine. Now to do that, you would uh, start the engine up, allow it to warm up for four or five minutes till it comes up to operating temperature. Once it's at operating temperature, you now need an RPM of 2000 RPM to 2250 RPM. On the 582, 2250 is generally where you're going to find a smooth idle. On the 503, 2000 uh, is generally where you want it to be. In order to get that, if the engine, we've got it synchronized here so that it's two and a half turns, so if we wanted a faster RPM, we would come in a quarter of a turn here and a quarter of a turn here, and that would give us uh, an increase in RPM, or if it's running you know, 24, 2500 RPM, then we just come down a quarter turn and a quarter turn. You want to bring them both down together on the screws, the exact same amount. You, the, you synchronize them so they were both at the exact same position and everything is working in the system. All we have to do is just adjust the idle. So you just, and you have to do it when the engine's warm. So once you've done that, then that's the synchronization process uh, done on a Rotax 503 dual carb. 532 dual carb, 582 dual carb, and Rotax 618, all two-stroke engines.